actually marked the 38th running of the Australian International Pedal Prix at Murray Bridge, which uh, for those who don't know what it is, it's uh, and who hasn't listened to us before, I've been commentating this series um, this season. It's HPV, which is a human-powered vehicle uh, racing series where they, the riders race in recumbent trikes and basically race in endurance series, um, like a six-hour, eight-hour, uh, and in this, this instance, a 24-hour race so it and this, what a race it was this whole week this is my first time back since six years ago when i raced there myself and this actually marked 10 years since i started uh my debut in the series and the 24-hour race my first my first time out in the in the bike was at midnight which is insane um but that's you know getting thrown in the deep end you got a lot that's the that's a good way to learn but uh what a weekend this was we had 154 bikes in total uh, race. We had, I think, 151 ended up finishing the race. And we actually trialed a new format this weekend. Um, cause normally how we do it, we do qualifying on the Friday and then we do the top 10 shootout Saturday morning prior to the race. This time we decided to spice it up, decided to make it. And I, I personally believe actually added real hype to it. Um, and made it real for a more motorsport style is have qualifying. On Friday, but we had a elimination style qualifying. So qualifying one is what we saw normally, where we get the community teams and the school teams go out individually. But then later, an hour later, we had what we called qualifying two, which saw the top fifteen of those sessions combined um, go out for fifteen minutes or so, um, and then five bikes were eliminated, um, and that determined our top ten shootout, which is what you will see in V8 supercars, where they're where one vehicle goes out, set a lap, come back in, next one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it was what I really thought it was really cool this year was the fact that it was nighttime as well. Um, and the fact that it was Friday as well help, helped teams if there was any uh, anything wrong with the bike or there was a crash or something like that, they could rectify it Saturday night, have a look at their data and and their and you know their and learn. Uh, in preparation for the Saturday for the race. Because how it used to work is the shootout, I believe, will happen an hour or two before the race itself. So there wasn't really any time to, you know, change the settings to some some of the bikes if if they, if they needed or, um, or, 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 so, or in the rider as well, not to mention um, pushing so hard to make, to get that lap and then to maybe even starting the race, you know, it, it it definitely took took it out of you, but I think no, I think this was um, a brilliant brilliant format in my opinion, and we got a lot of feedback on the weekend, a lot of good feedback as well, a lot of um, you know suggestions for next year as well, which we will look into. Uh, it was a fantastic weekend, and I really really loved the build up, and I had I was so honoured to be able to actually voice it and help hype up the event um, along with my co host, uh, my co commentator. David Knight, um, he did an incredible job this weekend. Um, usually, so far, uh, I believe he was the one commentating this year when for the rounds that I couldn't be at. Um, and he he he's a really nice guy. He really gets himself out there. Um, so it was really cool to get him to be outside in the paddock during the shootout and interviewing the riders and stuff like that. And I was uh, looking at the timesheets. It was really really cool. And I hope we can utilize that again next year. Um, maybe I've learned a lot of things about it and how we can improve. Um, but I'm, I'm pumped. I, I really loved it. Really loved it. And I, again, we got a lot of feedback. It was really great to see. Um, the race itself though, that was really exciting as well. Um, it started to, you know, there was a, it was actually started off in Trump trikes favor who actually won last season, um, at the 24 hour. They look like they were going to be the fan favourites to win because Waddle Gunya, which is the championship leaders and ended up being the championship winners after this weekend, um, they had a horrible crash Friday. The rider, I think, believe was okay. Um, but they had a massive role at Bloody Corner. And if you know that what that corner is, it's um it's used it's historically known as Crash Corner. Uh and yeah, there was quite a few roles. But uh 
it, it did look pretty bad, but it's good to see them uh, literally get pole position that evening, um, which really um, <laughs> set things in place for a cracking race in the, the, the following day. And oh boy, I was right. It was a cracking race from start to finish. It was Trump Trikes versus Waddle throughout the whole entire time, especially uh, throughout the night. Gunya actually had some hiccups. I uh, believe they were in the pits for 20 minutes or so. There was a couple red flag situations. Uh, but when the sun rose, they were after this was, I think, a 19 hours of racing. After 19 non hours of nonstop action, the gap between Gunya uh, uh, Waddle and and Trump Trikes was less than a second. So nine after 19 hours, less than a second was the gap. It was insane, and the. Even though, um, you know, there were some hiccups from Trump at the end of the race, towards the end, they actually had a little fumble as well, which actually, unfortunately, put them on the back foot. They ended up being a lap down almost. But they did a really, really cracking job at bringing, um, closing the gap. Uh, I think the gap ended up being about 40 or 50 seconds between Waddle and Trump, though. Um, but it was a really incredible battle to see, and I really, really loved it. And if you didn't get to go this year... Uh, check out all the YouTube footage. I'm sure Evo uh, Uni SA will make a documentary about their 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 race. Um, so I highly check it out. Highly check that out because um, they do an incredible job there. And I will talk about them in a minute. Um, but also just go to YouTube as well. There's I'm sure there's going to be loads of footage and just go next year. It's such an incredible event. And like I said, it's been six years since I went, and the atmosphere was incredible. And I, I spoke to our mate Tom, who actually, you know, Tom from Slipstream Autosport, uh, he, he helped us with the Formula RX-8 at the bend. He was incredible. He, I mean, he was a he's a really incredible guy. Um, I, he managed to come down this weekend, and he was blown away by how impressive our, this facility was, how impressive the race was, racing alongside the Riverside at Murray Bridge, it was incredible, and I had a real like. He really loved the atmosphere, and he was amazed at how close it is to motorsport. Um, and it just shows how far the series have come. Because of course, uh, the rate the, the series actually started, and I said this a lot during the uh, weekend. It started in 1985 at an under Underdale car park, where teams would build their own machines, um, and they were massive. They were the size of houses, um, basically. Um, so they've come a long way, um, cause they're not, they're like bullets now. They're little tiny capsules. Um, they're insane and they can go up to roughly 70 K an hour. Depends on your rider's fitness and your, the condition of your bike. It was absolutely incredible. And I just loved being there. I, I, I really miss riding there, but I, I'm, I'm honored that I got to actually be the voice of the series this weekend, especially. Uh, third, so yeah, so Ganya ended up winning the 24 hour race. Um, they did a incredible job. Uh, Trump managed to finish second after a really, really cracking job from them for closing in the gap there. Um, it was a race for anyone really though. Uh, and then in third place was team Uni SA Evo. Um, now shout out to them because they've, this is their second year in the category. I'm not sure if they're continuing next year. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not in the loop of anything, so I, I hope they're back next year because that team is fantastic. Because uh, it's a fra fairly new, fresh team. It's a new team to the sport. Like it's their only second se proper season together, and they did a really cool job. They took the early lead um, of the race, but unfortunately started falling back. But finished third place, so it's, it's it's a really really impressive display as well from them. And I was hanging out with in their pit. Uh, throughout the weekend sometimes and just the teamwork there the the way they all talk to each other the camaraderie the the atmosphere there is incredible and it just shows it, that's what i mean you got to watch the evo access because it they are genuinely what you see on the screen they're, they're they're incredible and speaking of incredible mr darcy strudwick who obviously uh is the big big boss the big guy in the team he unfortunately is leaving Pedal, not only the team, but also pedal free. He's retiring after about 12 years or so in the sport. So he's done a absolutely incredible job. Um, he's been an incredible ambassador for the sport. Um, it's sad to see him go, but it is an honor to, to uh, be able to call his final race. Uh, I'm sure he'll be back. You can't take the racing out of a racer. 
Um, it's just, it's not that easy. So I'm sure he'll be back and I'm sure he'll be back maybe winning. Um, but, uh, there'll always be a spot for him in the pedal pre community, but, uh, it, 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 you know, he's done very well in the 12 years. He's done a very, very good job. And to f- st- do something new, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, speaking of community, um, I also want to give a huge thank you and shout out to the Pedal Pre community um, because I got everyone to make content for the big screen that we had from Velo. We, we had the Velo super screen, so massive thanks to them for providing that as well. Um, we had that up. Um, there were a few hiccups, so I'm pretty sure, um, I think uh, the videos were able to be played Sunday. But a huge thanks to all the content creators who made all that content. Um, if you guys, if, for those who are watching this now and don't know or haven't seen that footage, go and check out um, all these content creators. I'll link everyone who um, gave me videos. I'll link their channels in the description below so you can check out all their other footage as well. They are phenomenal and they're the backbone of our community. And I highly recommend giving them a subscribe and a like and a comment and all that stuff. Give them so much love because they absolutely deserve it. They knock it out of the park. They literally, every time they would send me something, I was like, you blew me away. It was insane. So no, huge credit to you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, And hope, you know, we can do utilize this content more in the future for next season, at least. Um, let's have a look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the winners from each category because um, there's a total of seven categories and three subcategories. So obviously Waddle Gunya won the race, the 24-hour. So well done to them. Uh, in the C6 category, which is the under-20s, we've got um, Aero 1 from Aero Racing managing to win that race there. In category C5, which is the under-17s, we had Wimra Vispa. Uh, winning the race there. Now, they um, have been a top runner throughout the whole whole year, uh, even Aero 1 as well. Um, there was a cracking battle, actually, between um, Vispa and X-Factor from Peninsula Human Power uh, and also Aero 1 and Trump Development Team. Um, there was a cracking... There's only three laps between both Aero 1 and Trump Development Team in Category 6, so really incredible racing there. Um, it's crazy to see how, how many, how close the gaps are after 24 hours of racing. It's really insane. Um, so now we head to the school side, school teams. Um, the S3, which is senior school. Um, Pembroke School managed to win that one with their Centurion vehicle. But I tell you what, um, Norwood International High School, shout out to them, XPA, that's their vehicle that they use. Um, they did an absolute banger job this weekend. Um, they really took it to Centurion this weekend. They actually led the first half of the race, but they do have bragging rights because they were the only school team that was able to make it into the official shootout. And remember I said we, the top 15 were combined from each session. So the 15 was made up from um, both community and school and in, and, that we, and then that determined top 10 shootout. But only out of the three schools that made it into the 15 qualifier – only uh, Norwood managed to make it into the shootout. So massive, massive congrats to them. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And uh, let's have a look at S2, which is middle schools. Pembroke once again won it uh, for Phoenix uh, in their Phoenix vehicle. Um, Pembroke is just unstoppable. <laughs> it's just crazy to see. that the, the, the um, It's a real professional team there. Uh, it's a school team out of all things. It's real professional. It's Brilliant to see. And in S1, which is a junior school, uh, first place there was Highgate Hot Rod from Highgate School. Um, shout out to Asto Boy, who um, is a viewer over on TikTok and Instagram. So shout out to him. Uh, he actually came up to me over the weekend. So massive shout out to you, mate. It was a pleasure meeting you. And we're having a quick look at the – This is I'm just going to do the C7 one just because of time. Um, but in terms of the first place winners, this is C7 again, for all females was Trump Truck. She's relentless. Um, so massive congrats to them. They were incredible. They even got the copy world fastest lap as well, which is cool. Uh, the mixed team, who the ones who win, who won the mixed team was Acacia from Waddle Racing. They actually debuted a brand new bike this weekend as well called the Low Top. Uh, check out ltmotorsport.com. We actually wrote a story on that. 
And in first place for the Well Team Masters. Now, Well Team actually came on board to sponsor the Masters category this weekend. So huge thanks to Well Team as well. Um, Fast Cats Racing, Top Cats, managed to knock it out of the park there and claim the win for their 40-odd laps clear of the Bruce in second. So overall, a fantastic, incredible weekend. Um, it was fantastic to see so many faces. Uh, it was packed. It was so many people there. The grid the grid um, before the race was absolutely unreal. Um, just so many people is incredible. And shout out to Hayden from Turn 8 Photography as well for providing with so many brilliant shots. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll put some footage up of on, on YouTube or not, um, but shout out to him if I do. Um, but he did an absolutely unreal job and working alongside him for some of the social media stuff as well was awesome. Such a great guy. And um, Pedal Pre is full of awesome people. There's too many people to list. Um, even the staff that I, I had the pleasure of working with this year has been incredible. Um, and everyone knows who they are. They have done a fantastic job and they're all awesome. All awesome. But uh, that's going to have to leave. Uh, gonna, I'm going to have to leave that here. It's a, I'm sorry if uh, stretched this part on, but it is what it is. But thanks everyone who has listened. If you haven't done so and you're watching on YouTube and Spotify, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and also hit us a follow as well. If you can catch the full show in full on Spotify or in bits and pieces on YouTube. Thanks everyone who has been tuning in uh, on Radio Italiana as well. Uh, it's always a pleasure um, being on your radio. Um, it's such a fantastic station, so we're, we're honoured to be a part of it. And uh, we all wish you the very best for this week. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week and weekend coming up. And we hope to see you next week, hopefully Ivan and Alex alongside me, for some more motorsport chit-chat. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.